Hey gang, Diana here today. Welcome to the studio. I'm going to make cards like this. And there's a few techniques I'm using I'd like to share with you. This is uh, Floral Bliss, I think it's called, uh, from Simon Says Stamp. And you can see I tried it out several ways, embossing. I like the embossing a lot. And that's a very lightweight art paper. I think that's arches. I did the painting, the no line watercolor. I really don't like that technique. It's just not for me. That's all I can say. <laughs> so I did a bunch of embossed cards and I will link to a video where you can go. And I'm going to use a uh, sticky ink and perfect pearls technique. You can see how I lined up that congratulations by um, sort of centering, finding the center of that long line and then pulling down on either side of the stamp. Again, finding the center. The sticky, the locks were best. You'll see me using a stamp positioner later in the video, but I actually really thought the block was easier to use. Uh, these are the hydrus watercolors. I thought I'd pull these out for fun. I don't use these that much only because I forget I have them. Uh, they are available on Amazon at a pretty decent price too. So I just have the basic set and tiny bottles. So I'm just wetting that paper that's in the embossed area. Oh, up and down with the video camera. And then I'm just dropping in paint, just dropping in it. And the nice thing about these hydras is um, they're pretty concentrated. I am adding some water to them. I'm working on the, uh, what's his name? Craft mat. I can't think of the guy's name, but it's a nice craft mat. Uh, I usually use the um, Ranger, but I thought I'd give this one a whirl doesn't slide around which I like so I'm just pushing that paint around I'm literally pushing it around this is the way I've always taught kids to to paint is to drop some in and then push it rather than trying to um, do anything tricky right off the bat so if you're a beginner this is a really good technique for you and then I'm just letting it drip I like my watercolors to slide out of where they're supposed to be and this I think this stamp was really a pretty one for a wedding and I thought it was I really didn't as I said I wasn't crazy but I don't have the patience for that no line watercoloring and I do like this sort of um, looser look anyway so that's pretty much what I did I added color and sprayed and pushed it around. I have a little spot there, but we'll worry about that later, if at all. And again, that is the embossed areas. I wet those down. That's a green embossing powder from Ranger. And um, just dropping that red in. And the, the embossed, raised embossed line sort of keeps it in control to some degree so um, you don't have to worry too much I'm also picking up uh, water or color from areas that I don't where I don't want it I'm adding some bright yellow into those those little those white flowers I'm going to I think I leave those white we'll find out soon enough I was going from card to card in this um, while I was videotaping this. I wound up with something like 45 minutes of recording and I got somehow managed to yeah, I just kept forgetting to turn the camera off, whatever. But here I am again and this looks like you know what, that's that beautiful color from WOW. I love that beautiful embossing powder. I like the WOW embossing powders. They're nice. Oh, I, since I dropped some, I just picked that up real easy, real easy, no worries. 
pick it up. Um, yeah, it all looks pretty good. So try, it, it's try to hold on to the end of your brush. Try not to tighten up on your brush too much. Um, I loved the way the, that pink looked with that beautiful color. I'll link that down below. Uh, and this is this is either mixed media paper, Strathmore, or Strathmore paper, uh, watercolor paper. I'll link that down too. Um, again, if the paint is wet and everything's wet, you can just pick things up if you don't like them. And we're spraying. Yeah, yeah, here it is. Um, what I did was stamped the congratulations with a gold ink, a gold pigment ink, and then brushed over that with the Perfect Pearls pigment. Uh, what is that called? Perfect Pearls. I got this from Amy Raisabi. Raisabi? She's a great card maker. I love her, and I will link to her below. Here are just some more uh cards I did I using various techniques and here's some of the cards I made you can actually find these on Etsy some of them um, but that's it for today check below in the links and I hope I gave you some ideas on ways to work with stamps and watercolor see you soon